Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. This one is different from t shirt making because I'm trying to change lanes, man. I ain't trying to do the same thing. 2021, trying to switch up the swag, but I'm gonna still do t shirts if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so basically, uh, this is punch needle embroidery. I'm almost done with this one here. As you know, Wu Tang is forever. So, this is what I made so far. I'm gonna put the little border around it. Um, but when I bought this, this is the cheap one from Walmart, um, not Walmart, but uh, Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. But uh, this is the one I had. Let's see. I bought this one, right? And I thought I could just do it like this. But apparently, when you're buying the cheap one from Amazon, it doesn't seem like this one wants to work because it doesn't punch all the way through, as you can tell from needle length. So you're gonna need something a little bit longer, a little bit longer, because I was having some issues, and I'm gonna show you what the issues I was having. But long story short, this is how you thread it. You stick this little piece that it comes with, if y'all can see it. Stick that piece in the bottom. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I have mine set to C. You're gonna see it, it's like, you know, long. It's pretty long. And uh, basically you put the yarn on the top of it. Uh, bring it through the little hole. Y'all can see that hole right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple stuff, but the first time I tried it out, man, I was having so many issues with it. Like the um, the threading wasn't sticking to the, to the monk's cloth. Like I looked at hundreds of YouTube videos and luckily I found somebody to help me out. Um, but I think I'm gonna end up buying that. Uh, it's not, it's a little more expensive, but apparently a lady was telling me on YouTube that there's some monk's cloth with this white, like white lining. There's like little white lines and shit. So I'm gonna get that just to see what the difference is. Maybe I can use this one here, this one here for it. Maybe it catches better, I don't know. I'm new to this, but it's very um, therapeutic. Aww. You know, if you're looking for a good little hobby, something to kind of, you know, pass time and, you know, it's, cre it's very creative and very beautiful for sure. Once again, stick that little, this little needle through here, bring it, bring that loop out, have it coming out this side. All right. And then what I do, I just kind of bring the yarn up. All right, so basically you go in, Goddamn! Scoop. Bring it in, and then bring it out. And you, you just keep going. You know what I'm saying? That's all you're doing. And luckily, with this one, it's finally catching. So that's how I've been making my progress. And the direction of the needle, it has to go, you know, this way, with the the mouth sticking out. You know what I'm saying? So basically, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Just keep on going like that. All right. Now, also a trick because if it's pulling too hard, then your 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 needle's not gonna stick. So, for example, let's see. I'm gonna show you. It has to be enough. If it's too much tension on that, that yarn is not gonna stick. So I'm gonna just show you right quick. See, look, it's not sticking now, right? It's still sticking. It's doing pretty good. But yeah, it's not sticking now because it's too much tension. So what you do is you always got to have, you know, just make sure it's loose. Just bring it up. Because that's another issue I was having. Like it wasn't quite, it was too much tension. I was wondering why the stuff wasn't sticking. So, all right. And uh, all I'm going to do here, I'm going to just snip. I'm going to show you the issue with the last one. If y'all ever were to go to Amazon and buy this version. See, look, it just doesn't stick. And of course, when you make your first loop, you gotta pull that thread back and hold it, okay? Pull that thread back, hold it. See? Hope y'all can kind of see it. So just hold it and then just keep going to make your next loops. All right, but check this out. I think it's the length or probably the monk's cloth that won't allow this thing to work because it don't, see what I'm saying? It doesn't do anything. But this one does. 
this one has been working for me because I guess it could be the needle length that allows it to work. And also one issue about this, I might end up buying another um, punch needle. This one is good, but sometimes the yeah. needle slips from time to time. So I kind of burnt, you know what I'm saying? I kind of burnt the edge off so they can, you know, kind of warp and kind of burnt it down a little bit so that I might put some super glue on it so that it doesn't um, keep shifting like it is. All right, so if y'all got some value from this video, make sure you hit the like button. Um, make sure you comment on what you wanna see next and subscribe to the channel. Of course, um, this is what they call punch needle embroidery, punch needle in. Um, I got the rug tufting gun on its way, so we're gonna do a little rug tufting video up next. Of course, more t-shirt videos, more Photoshop tutorials on the way. All right, peace. Subscribe. Peace, 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 peace. Who's time?